What if it had a Veruca on the end? Ugh. Never know real time management until you have a kid. Look at you, you look so cool. Oh, wow. So it is Monday, I've just dropped Marley at nursery and I've got to head up into town for like a super quick meeting It's a really exciting project that I'm doing with Habitat so I'm just going to go and have a look and film some when I get there Find a cloud, I put my umbrella in my bag looking at the state of that I might have brought my umbrella but I still have open toed shoes on which is obviously a fail Alright guys, I'm up in town hiding under my umbrella because the weather of course is crazy Okay, so that was probably the ugliest video of me you've ever seen, but anyway. This is the space and this is what it currently looks like. And then in a few weeks, this will be my design. I'm home now from Habitat, I had a really good meeting. I'm super excited about this little space that I'm going to be designing. And I've got about 20 minutes to eat my dinner before I have to start teaching blog school. I have a little thing from uh, Itzy. It's going to be a bit of a dinner on the rush. No rest for the wicked. I'm just getting ready to teach a class of the Noble Blog School Blueprints blogging Monday nights. That's what I do every Monday night. Obviously when the course is running. And when it's not running it's like crazy party time and I get to do all this fun stuff like work extra hours in the evening. so rough today so it's tuesday and my assistant jess is coming today so hopefully we can like bang through some stuff i've got to go to the dentist and uh well i say i've got to i chose to go not quite as scared as last time i went i'm hoping that they're nice to me with whatever sticks they prod in my mouth today yeah hopefully it'll be a fun tuesday get lots of work done <laughs> okay looking a bit more normal <laughs> finally have makeup on Bathroom looks a bit manky because we are in the process of choosing new colours. That's what I think we're going to do. With some nice gold frames and some green plants will be cute, cute, cute. Yeah, I need to just head out to the dentist now. So this is teeth before. <laughs> cute. Um, so yeah, we can see if going to the hygienist to get your teeth cleaned actually makes a difference. So I showed you my teeth before and this is after. I don't know. <laughs> no, there's loads of like spit in the side. <laughs> She showed me all this horrible black stuff inside and then like picked it off. Come <laughs> on. Plaque apparently, it's not like a, uh, you know, it's junk or anything. I don't, I find it really awkward when I get videoed. Why? I don't know, I don't know what to do. But oh, hi. Oh, hi. This is one half of Jess and Lydia, my new yeah. fabulous assistant. <laughs> so, how can we let everyone get to know you? I think we should do a quick fire question. Quick fire questions, go for it. So. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jess. I'm 21 and I'm vegan. There you um, go. She's that's vegan. It. I'm vegan. So, bombshell. Would you rather eat a sausage <laughs> or suck Lydia's toe? Suck Lydia's toe. Really? 100%. What if it had a Veruca on the end? Oh! <laughs> I can't mind that's a like anti bucket or something. There's no way. No way I'm eating no damn sausage. Really? You're no. that strong about it? Okay. Strong. Where is the one place in the world that you would love to visit? Ooh, Mongolia. Why? Because I know. That's so <laughs> rad. Okay guys, so we need a brand in Mongolia that can book <laughs> me to do something and then we can all go to <laughs> Mongolia. Okay, what kind of music are you listening to? I'm just everyday hip hop, you know. I'm like Just a bit of everyday hip hop. Everyday, I'm listening to a bit more reggaeton recently, so that's nice. Oh, reggaeton, yeah. check you out. For real, get She's hip crazy. Hips don't lie. Okay, last question. What is it about Lydia that you like? She's just so sweet. She's such a sweet girl. You can tell she's gonna be like a friend for life, you know, not just a friend for Christmas. Oh. She's there forever. That's sweet. She's got my back. Well, you guys don't know who Lydia is, <laughs> but she's the other half of the Jess and Lydia duo yeah. and the other assistant that you're going to meet very soon. So Jess has just left. I've been teaching her how to upload blogs to my blog just to kind of like save me some time. And she's picking it up so fast, like I really couldn't be happier. And she's also fun to hang out with. So while she was doing that, I've been working on the Habitat project. There's like a lot to sort out. I've basically got to design the whole thing, work out what my 
materials we want to use, how we're going to do the flooring and the walls because of course I don't just want to do it in some standard simple way so I've kind of made it hard for myself but it will look really cool, I'm really excited. Maku. You painted Maku? Did you? Yeah. I don't know what she's talking about. Oh hey. Hello everybody. It is Wednesday morning. Today I've got Marley in the morning and then this afternoon I've got a meeting with one of my business mentors. So I'm heading up to Second Home which is like a shared workspace just off Brick Lane to have a meeting with him this afternoon. never know real time management until you have a kid. I just had to get Marley fed, dressed, teeth washed, go to the toilet and get her to nursery all in the space of like 20 minutes and now I've got a rush into town. Bag wears a fucking tan. Second home, and there's loads of plants. It's just really cool design. Good morning, people. It is Friday. I'm about to move into my new co working space. <clears throat> As you can hear, I'm not feeling that well. So, you can come along and check out my new workspace. It's called Tomorrow and it's in Croydon, in South Croydon, so I can literally walk there in the morning, which is great. breath from walking home. Back from my first day of working in the co-working space in Croydon. Why is this thing not focusing on my beautiful face? I can't believe how much work I got done. I got like literally five times more work done than I would have if I was working from home, which is kind of incredible. It makes me realise how worthwhile it is. And I realised, I told you it was Friday. It's not Friday, it's Thursday. It's Thursday, Sarah. Fucking losing my mind. It's nine, Thursday night. Jason has gone out to play football. I've just made myself a really quick dinner. Um, I had a call actually, I should tell you about this. I have like a, this sounds crazy to anyone who doesn't know what I'm like. I have like a money mentor, but they're not like what you would expect a traditional money mentor to be. She's very like spiritual. She calls herself the money medium. Since this lady came into my life, like I cannot even explain to you like the difference. She's just completely helped me change my mindset around money and like how I think about money and how I attract money if you believe in that, which I do. This is fucking amazing, like the opportunities that are coming my way, the things that I get to do every day, like is just amazing, but it's just a lot basically, it's just a lot going on and I need to learn to get better at dealing with it. Just uploading a video to the Noble Blog School site, but it's come out massive for some reason and I do not like it so massive. Yeah. Morning, it's actually Friday morning now. I've just made French toast. We are off to the wedding, Millie and Rod's wedding. And this is my outfit. Can see properly. Where are we going, Molly? A picnic. We're going for a nice picnic. Look at you, you look so cool. Oh, wow. Me, 
Hello, it, it is Saturday morning and we are going to Ham House in Richmond which is a National Trust place because we've got a National Trust membership and we're going to have a picnic because it's nice and sunny. I love coming to these kind of places because I think in a past life I clearly lived in a house like this because I just feel so at home here. Sunday morning, uh, we're in Kensington going to Olympia for Hyper Japan. I'm so excited. I've wanted to come to this for years and I've never been able to get a ticket in time. We booked yesterday and we're here, but these two are walking so slow and I just want to get inside. 